bringing hope the world over. Hope Channel. Magandang magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat mga giliw namin manunood. Sa lahat ng gulay na meron tayo sa mundo, ang spinach ang isa sa mga pinakapaborito namin. Kaya naman sa araw na ito ay hayaan niyo po kami na makapagturo ng isang recipe which features our favorite spinach. I'm sure excited na naman po kayo sa ating panibagong recipe. So here are the ingredients for our spinach with mushroom, Sir Walter. Okay, here's now our ingredients. Two tablespoons olive oil. Pinch of salt. Black pepper. One large red onion. One fourth kilo of spinach. Two medium size of tomatoes, a cup of oyster mushrooms, sesame seeds, our vegetarian stir fry sauce. So, ano po una natin gagawin, Sir Wal? Ito, isi-shred lang po natin tong ating oyster mushrooms. Ganito lang po. Ayan po. Okay. Ayan. Ayan po. Napakarami ng paraan kung paano lulutuin ang mushroom at iba't ibang klase rin ang lasa na ating matitikman pero sa ngayon ay iba at ito ay ating yahalo sa ating spinach. Okay, okay po, habang prinipirap nyo yung, ano, yung oyster mushroom natin, itchachap ko na po yung onions natin and okay. lalabas ko na po yung ating pan para uminit na po siya. Oh. po. Then, sunod na po natin agad yung ating olive oil. Yan po. Uh -huh. Olive oil ulit. Yan po, yan. Dapat lang po mabilis para hindi po masira yung nutrients po ng ating olive oil. Yan po. Okay. Ang um, ating onion o sibuyas na hinihiwan ng ating kasama, ito ay tumutulong na malabanan ang inflammation related to arthritis and asthma. Nagpapababa din ito ng diabetes, symptoms at source din ito ng potassium, vitamin B, folate, phosphorus at nakakapagpababa rin ito ng timba. Ayan po, ilalagay na po natin ang ating onions. Ayan po. Okay. Ayan po ma'am, isunod na po natin sana yung ano, uh, ating spinach. Ayan. Okay. So sa spinach po. naman, ito rin ay mayaman din sa nutrients at ito ay antioxidant, anti-cancer at recommended ito for cholesterol controlling and weight reduction programs. Yan po. So ito na po sir. Ito po ang ituloy ang mushroom. Okay ma'am. Ihalo lang po natin siya. Ganyan. Yan. Naamoy niyo pa ba yung aroma ng ating sibuyas? Opo sir, ang bango-bango. Ayan, binilisan ko na po ma'am para hindi tayo maiyak. Okay. Ah, yun din palang isa pang teknik Dapat para bilisan. hindi tayo maluha. Bilisan lang po ang okay. pagkalagay. Okay. So para hindi tayo maiyak. Ayan. Tapos po, ilalagay na po natin ang ating oyster mushroom. Okay, oyster mushroom. Ah, mga mamis, baka nagka, uh, nagtataka po kayo kung uh, bakit tinawag pong oyster mushroom. Mm -hmm. Ano po ma'am Sen? Uh, pagkakalam ko, kasi yung itsura niya kasi, para talaga siyang oyster. Yan, yung itsura niya. Kaya tinawag siyang oyster mushroom. Meron din ibang klase ng mushroom, yung tinatawag natin na buton. Pero ito po ay oyster. Ayan, isusunod na po natin ang ating oyster mushroom. Okay, ano po isusunod natin, sir? Ito po yung tomato po. Tomato po. Tomato? Ayan po. Cubes din po ba? Opo, ma'am. Ayan. Ito pong mushroom, nagbibigay din po ng folate sa ating katawan. Ayan po, sa mga buntis. Saka may vitamin A po siya. Oh. Ayan. 
So, mainam din pala siya sa mga nagdadalang tao. Opo. Mm. So, hindi siya masama kung masobrahan ang kain ng isang nagdadalang tao, ang mushroom. Eh, di ba nga po, ma'am, ang sobra po ay hindi rin po maganda. O, oh, yan. Sakto Yun ang gusto po, natin. Mamis. Okay. Natin. Yun ang gusto natin ilinaw. Lahat ng sobra ay masama. Ayun. Okay. Susunod na po natin nalagay ang black pepper. Okay. Ang black pepper ay may good amount of minerals tulad ng potassium, calcium, zinc, manganese, at iron. Kinagamit din itong therapeutic ng mga dentista bilang antiseptic para sa mga tooth decay at gum swelling. Ito po ma'am, yung kamatis po. Ano pong naidudulot sa ating katawan? Iyan ay mayaman din sa vitamin C. Lalong higit na kung hindi pa ito naluluto. At kakainin ito ng sariwang sariwa. Mas lalong masarap itong kainin kung ito ay bagong pitas sa puno. At ito ay hindi na nila nilalagyan ng asin. Talagang yan na lang ang kanilang kinakain. Kasi okay. manamis-namis. Sunod na po natin ang ating vegetarian stir fry sauce. Okay, pampasarap ulit Ayun. ng ating lulutuin ngayon. Ayan po. Halo lang po natin. Sunod na po natin ang ating tomatoes. Okay. Ayan. So, lulutuin po ba ulit yan o konting, konting luto lang? lang. Konting-konti lang po. Okay, konting luto lang para hindi mawala ang nutrients ng kamatis. Ayun. Bango, di ba ma'am? Mabango nga eh. Ayan. Ano pa? Ito pong asin. Ayan. Lalagyan po natin. Opo. Pinch lang po natin to taste lang po yung ating salt. Okay. Ayan. Kasi... Yung ating vegetarian stir fry sauce, mga mamis, parang complete, ano na, complete package na po siya noon. Mm -hmm. May asim, may sugar na po siya doon, mm -hmm. soy sauce, para... Kompleto na siya. Para Kompleto ang timpla. Po, po. Oh, okay. Lagay na po natin ang ating spinach. Yan. So, ang ating spinach, siguro ay... Hindi lingit sa ating kalaman. Ito ay tinatawag din natin sa ibang pangalan na Tagalog, kulitis. Yung kulitis ay malimit nating makikita sa mga garden ng mga magsasaka o kahit pa sa palibot ng ating mga bahay. Kaya ito ay madaling hanapin at madaling uh, mapitas, lalo na kung ito ay gusto na nating ulamin. Ang sikreto lang dito ay hindi lulutuin ng mabuti. Opo, para yung... Okay, so para hindi mm. lumambot ng gusto at pagkahagatin natin ay medyo malutong-lutong pa siya. Saka yung green po, ayun po yung nagpapaganda sa ating pagkahinan. Yung presentation okay, po dapat green pa siya. Sa, sa presentation Opo. daw ng pagkain natin, ating iahanda sa ating hapagkainan, ay maganda ang kulay. At green na green. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ayan po. Tapos, iganyan na po na natin siya. Simmer po for about 2 to 3 minutes. Mm -hmm. Tapos, ma'am, tuturuan ko po kayong gumawa ng garnish. Ay, ganun ba? Opo. Na naman. Sige. Para pagdating ko sa aming bahay, ating akin din gagawin to. Ayun. Mm. Para ako din ay matuto. At hindi lamang ako, kundi kayo din na mga nanonood sa pagkakataong ito. Ayan. Ayan. Kaya ako po tinawag kanina na si simmer po natin kasi may natural waters po, ay water po ang ating spinach. Ayan po. Ano ate Sem? Ready ka na bang matutunan ang bagong garnish natin ngayon? Okay. Gustong gusto ko na. Ayan. Ito po yung ating plate. Uh -huh. Kuha po tayo ng red bell pepper. Ito po. Uh -huh. Red bell pepper. Us. Paano po yung paglalagay, sir, ng, ano, ng garnish sa... Sa plate po plate. natin? Ayan Kailangan po. po ba punong-puno or Ay, hindi, hindi? Mas maganda po, portion lang para yung... Yung ano po ng beauty. ating... Beauty ng ating uh, dish natin. Uh -huh. 
mas maganda po na yung presentable po siya. Okay. Po. So, yun pala ang technique. Opo. Hindi pala siya pupunuin ito ng ulam, kundi hanggang saan naman, halimbawa. Ayan. Mga half lang po nito siguro, ma'am. Ganyan po. Okay. Para mabigyan din natin sila ng ibang tips sa paglalagay ng okay. pagkain sa mga platter. Ito na po. Ganito lang po natin. Mm -hmm. Mas maganda po yung flat po yung ating Uh, red bell pepper para po okay. pag dinagay po natin siya sa plato mas maganda po siyang tignan hindi na po siya tumutumba ganyan po so mananatiling na nakatayo opo ganyan po ganyan po lang natin kuha po tayo ng pairing knives a knife ganyan po okay parang paslant lang po triangle ganyan triangle lang po natin Kailangan maingat din sa paghihiwa Opo. para hindi sumusobra at para paging pantay-pantay pa rin Ayan. ang hugis niya. Ayan. Tapos, i-ano lang po natin na siyang ganyan. I-twist lang po natin. Ayan. Ayan. Okay. okay. Parang bulaklak na po siya, di ba? Ayan. Parang tulip ah. Mm -hmm. Tapos, itanggalin lang po natin itong ano niya. Uh, seeds niya. Mm -hmm. Tanggalin po lang natin saglit. So, ito yeah. ay aalisin din. Opo. Tapos, dito na po. Okay na po ba ganyan po ba yan? Patayo? Ayan, ipatpag oh, lang po natin. Pa. Matatanggal na po siya eh. Ayan po, ma'am. Oh. Diba? Mm -hmm. Tanggal na po. Ayan. Okay. Tapos, lagay po lang natin na ganyan, ma'am. Papatong po natin. I oh. see. Opo. Tapos, Akala ko po magkahiwalay. Kukuha po tayo ng bulaklak. Mm -hmm. Ayan po. And... Ganun lang pala siya kasimple. Yung ating celery. Para po parang a greenish po yung kulay ng ating garnish. Ayan po. Lagi okay. lang po natin siyang ganyan. Parang magsisilbing dahon lang siya Opo, ng bulaklak. Tapos yung bulaklak po, dito lang po siya. Ayan po. Tapos yung uh, ating red hot chili. Tanggalin po lang natin yung, at, yung kanyang stem. Ayan po. Tatlo lang. Ayan po. Mm -hmm. Lagay lang po natin siyang ganyan. Parang may kulay lang po siyang pula. Then, we put now our Ganun lang pala siya kasimple. Ayan po. Mm -hmm. Ayan po. Lagay lang po natin dito sa ating plate. Ayan po. Ano, Ate Sem? Takam na takam ka na ba? Oo. Ayan. So, mamis, nakita niyo po kung paano natin gawin yung garnish niya sa kayong simpleng pagluto po ng ating dish ngayon. Which, which is spinach. Ayan po. With mushroom. Ayan. Okay. Yeah. Pwede na? Okay na? Paano naman itong ating sesame? Yung sesame seeds po lang natin, ma'am. I-drizzle lang po natin siyang ganyan. Wow. Yan. So, pampaga na na naman ng pagkain Ay. yan. Opo. Yan. Okay. Okay. Here's now our finished product. Spinach with mushroom. Ayan po. Okay. Okay, there you have it. Our spinach with mushroom. Ang mga recipes na ibinabahagi po namin sa inyo ay mga paraan upang magkaroon po tayo ng pagbabago sa ating kalusugan. Ang mga pagkain na ating inihanda ay nararapat lamang na nagpapabuti sa kalagayang pisikal ng ating pamilya. Ito ang magdadala sa atin sa panuntunan ng Panginoon Ayon sa batas ng kalusugan. For our friends who just tuned in, ito po ang recap ng ating ingredients and procedure for our spinach with mushrooms. Okay, here's now our spinach with mushroom. Two tablespoons of olive oil, salt to taste, black pepper, onion, spinach, tomatoes, oyster mushroom, Sesame seeds and our vegetarian stir fry sauce. Okay. So, salamat po muli sa pagtangkilik nyo sa aming programa ngayong umaga. 
at inasahan po namin na hindi nyo kami iiwanan. Tayo po ay umuko para po sa ating panalangin. Dakila at mapagpala naming Ama, salamat po muli ng marami sa biyayang ito na ipinagalob niyo sa amin. May natutunan kaming muli sa aming pagluluto para sa aming pamilya upang maranasan namin ang kasiyahan at kasiglahan ng aming pagsasamahan na isang buong masayang pamilya. Ito po ang aming dalangin sa pangalan ni Jesus. Amen. Mga kaibigan, Napakaraming paraan kung papaano natin papasarapin ang mga gulay na handog sa atin ng Diyos. All we have need to do is to explore the treasures found in our vegetables. Samahan niyo po muli kami sa susunod nating pagkikita at tuturuan po namin kayo ng isa na namang bagong putahe na tiyak, friendly na sa tiyan, friendly pa sa pulsa. Stick with us again, same time, same channel, where we learn to cook intelligently. Cooking is smart. Making faith real and relevant. Jesus, the sweetest, mightiest name of all, came along. I think I'm in love. What you see of Hope Channel Philippines now is a long, long, long way from what it used to be. Back in 1994, only a box-type structure stood on what is now a fully equipped studio. Once a rumbling tiny relay station, now a buzzing production headquarters. With its quick overhaul and transformation early in 2009, the studio acquired a multi-million broadcasting franchise by Midyear and received its fully operational high-definition equipment by July of the same year. While the crew was still reeling from the incredible developments, Brad and Candice Thorpe flew in for the inauguration before the year was out. Because Elder Thorpe was telling me, hold together and think creatively. Before we knew it, there was an increasing demand for Hope Channel Philippines' time, talent, and treasure for more program productions. From the north of the nation, down to the security-challenged south, be it in Manila, Cebu, Zamboanga, Young Hope Channel Philippines went onward and forward. And who were right there with these poor chums to put up with these drastic, yet delightfully astonishing growth pains. Volunteers. Before there was hope, there was obscurity. But never without the fierce striving for a media ministry. Volunteers then, volunteers now. With the same zeal, our volunteers accomplish the dirty work that a full-service media center demands. With these helping hands and visionary leaders, with the Lord's guidance, 
Hope Channel Philippines is set to be the next best life and family network in the country. To broadcast local and international shows 24-7. To reach 80 million souls in hundreds of cities in the archipelago in just five years. This is the next big dream of Hope Channel Philippines. Be in two. Join the Hands of Hope Ministry, a visionary group of Christians rapidly spreading the gospel to all the world, every minute of every day, in large crowded cities, in high-rise apartments, and in countries where missionaries lose their lives. Hope Channel is there, making a difference and changing lives. After traveling the globe for nearly 40 years sharing the gospel of Christ, I know of no better way to communicate the gospel than television. You can be a hand of hope in giving the gospel to spiritually hungry people. As a Hands of Hope member, you'll receive monthly reports on Hope Channel's global progress, thrilling mission stories on DVD, and a membership card that allows you 10% off all your book purchases at Adventist book centers across North America. So write, call, or visit us online to receive your free Hands of Hope brochure. To learn more about how you can make a powerful difference in God's work with the Hope Channel. It takes a global network to be in touch with planet Earth's global community. Hope Channel broadcasts the hope found in Jesus with 10 global channels through programs on healthy living, history, culture, music, and biblical spirituality. And Hope Channel provides a diverse cultural programming mix in many of the world's major languages. Welcome to donor-supported Hope Channel. Explosive evangelism, extraordinary growth, award-winning programming, miraculous distribution and audience growth. These are just a few of the ways to describe Hope Channel, your church's TV network. We've seen more and more and more of God's miraculous blessings poured out on Hope Channel, and these miracles are what make Hope Channel truly unique. Evangelism is the real reason Hope Channel exists. Hope Channel has broadcast more than 200 major satellite net evangelistic events. And we've been blessed to see more than 2 million people come to Christ and be baptized and join God's remnant family. You know, when you think about it, every one of these precious individuals is a miracle from heaven, having been rescued from the chains of sin. When we began, we had only about 2,000 programs in our inventory. Today, we have more than 25,000 titles in our global network, international, multicultural, and diverse programming. 65 media centers produce programs for Hope Channel. We have won awards for our outstanding programs, and viewers consistently tell us that they most enjoy our interesting and international programming. Several times every year, we broadcast the most comprehensive TV documentary series available regarding the Sabbath and its history. And we haven't missed a very important topic, creation. Evangelistic series present all our doctrines. Hope Channel is faithfully proclaiming the vital Bible teachings for today. Here at Hope Channel, we love great preaching and evangelism. But you know, it's our children, our youth, family, mission, health, and our documentary programs that give us more and more variety. With 65 media centers producing programming around the world, Hope Channel increasingly represents more cultural diversity than it ever has. We started with one channel, but today we have 10 full-time channels serving the globe. And soon we will add more new channels. Our first channel started in Brazil in the Portuguese language. Then came the English Channel, and now we have full-time channels in Portuguese, two in English, and two in Spanish, Romanian and German channels. In a recent net event, we broadcast in 12 languages. 
Shortly, we will start full-time separate satellite channels for Mandarin, Russian, Middle Eastern, and Indian languages. Many of the 65 studios and media centers producing for Hope Channel have just recently come on board in the last several years. And most recently, the General Conference has supplied a new studio for our Hope Channel headquarters in Maryland. This just indicates the priority the church is placing on digital media to communicate the gospel. Currently, we have contracts for broadcasting on 12 satellites and we're negotiating for contracts on more satellites. More than 400 church-owned TV stations are now part of the network. Hundreds of cable networks broadcast Hope Channel every day. We currently use 16 C-band and KU-band satellite footprints to proclaim the three angels' messages, and soon we will add more footprints. Our distribution satellites have recently been reconfigured to deliver Hope Channel TV, and up to seven radio channels. This is to provide network feeds for TV and now also full-time radio feeds. Combined with internet, this convergence of media empowers each local church to provide a full-time local Adventist media presence in their community. People can listen to Adventist radio, watch Adventist television, and respond via Adventist internet sites. As the official television network of the World Church, we have lots of accountability. There's more accountability in our personnel, our programming, our travel and finances. They're all audited and carefully guided by the World Church. When you consider tens of thousands of equipped churches and homes, millions of pieces of Hope Channel advertising going around the world, and thousands of new programs featuring church members and their gifts, and you add to that, the expansion of church-owned media centers and tens of thousands of people committing their lives to Christ and being baptized. Well, what do you get? I think they're all signs of increasing ownership by church leaders and members, millions of them, around the world. Our mission is that everyone everywhere can see, can see and hear the Adventist message through Hope Channel broadcasts. Our big goal is to be the premier global Christian lifestyle TV channel with the largest audience in the world. We intend to redefine Christian television with excellence in the variety of programming and having the largest global audience. And some people might ask, why such a big goal? Well, Jesus gave us this goal when he said, go tell the world. And we believe we must be thinking big and dream big plans for God. We're not content to just preach to the choir. Our goal is to reach more than the masses of the 1040 window. It is to go where no missionary can go. And to reach hundreds of millions who've never heard the name of Jesus. The consumer-driven societies that have tried to make God an agnostic, irrelevant question. We believe God's remnant people will be a huge number composed from every nation. And we intend to continue being the premier digital voice of the three angels pictured in Revelation 14, warning and inviting people to prepare for Jesus' second coming. And with your partnership and God's expanding blessings, Hope Channel will reach these goals. The expanded role of Hope Channel around the world necessitates more support from God's people. I want to thank you for what you are doing to support Hope Channel and its ministry around the world as this ministry expands to fulfill the mission of Jesus Christ, to take the gospel to every nation, kindred, tongue, and people. It necessitates even greater support than we've had before. Do you realize that through Hope Channel, the gospel is going to India, to China, to the former Soviet Union, and we have plans now to take it to the Arabic nations of the world. God is doing something to fulfill Matthew chapter 24, verse 14. This gospel of the kingdom will be preached in all the world as a witness to all nations, then the end shall come. That's why the General Conference is putting so many of its resources into the Hope Channel, because there's a deep commitment and passion to see Jesus' work finished now. You can be part of something big for God, something grand for God, something great for God. Why not allow the Holy Spirit to impress your heart to make a sacrifice financially so the gospel can go even more rapidly around the world through Hope Channel.